Good to be back in Vancouver. I love Vancouver. I originally moved here from uh, Toronto. Boo! I beat you, you fucks. <laughs> Late and booming. Now I'm not I'm not a Toronto guy anymore. I'm a Vancouver guy, man. I li I've been living out here ten years now. I moved out here because I, I I just did not I did not feel right. I grew up in Ontario my whole life, and I was just like I don't belong here, man. I belong on the West Coast, you know, because I love the great outdoors. I'm a peace loving guy. I don't like to work, you know. <laughs> I belong out here with you, lazy fucks, man. This is awesome. Yeah, this guy's clapping laziness. Yeah. Oh, I'm tired now. No, we're not lazy, we're laid back. It's different. No, it's not. But that's okay, I'm down with laziness. I'm lazy too. But, uh, oh yeah, I moved here for all the obvious reasons, right? The mountains and the ocean and London drugs. Holy shit, that rocks. <laughs> London drug. There's no London drugs back east. Nothing even like it. It's like a unique phenomenon to the West Coast. And I love that, like that store is genius. Whoever thought of that is brilliant because now it's like late at night, it's like 2 a.m. And uh, my wife calls me on the cell phone as I'm on my way home from a gig, and she's like, hey, we need a few things on the way home. Could you stop and pick up a home theater system with digital surround sound <laughs> and tampons? <laughs> Got one stop to make on the way home. That's awesome. London drugs, so intuitive. How do you know? How do you know my late night needs? My first week here in Vancouver, I thought I'll drive around and get to know my new city, because I didn't know Vancouver at all when I first moved here, and I thought, oh, I gotta get to know this city. So I hop in my car and I got all my touristy pamphlets, and uh, so I followed my tourist pamphlets first to historical gas town, right? So yeah, some of you already know where this is going. You know, I'm in my car, like, hey, what's my new city like? And I, so I, within the first five minutes of this drive to get to know my new city, I end up stopped at the red light at the corner of Maine and Hastings. <laughs> and man, is that a long fucking red light or what? <laughs> So I'm sitting there, and I'm looking around, and I've lived in Toronto, I've been to New York City, I've never fucking seen anything like that, man. I'm looking around, I'm like, oh my god, all four corners, like huge swarms of poor, desolate crack addicts, and I'm just like, oh my god. And I was kind of overwhelmed with this feeling of, you know what, hey, this is my adopted city, and my new city, and I should get involved, I should do something about this, I should not just sit here, I should, I should lock my doors, I'm gonna lock my doors right now. I start there, maybe I'll just run this red, what the hell am I gonna do it sitting here? I'm gonna run this red. Hopefully I'll get pulled over by a cop. That would be good. <laughs> no, they should actually put a cop station right here. Oh fuck, they did! Holy shit! Unbelievable! There's fucking seasons. There's a cop shop right there. In the weirdest corner in the world, man. I gotta get loose, used to lots of- I gotta get used to the driving out here. Oh my god, that's- different from Toronto. Well, first of all, I get I, I had to get used to what you guys call highways. That cracked me up. I love that. That's a joke. What is that? The low heat highway. What? Well, that's a street. You can't just call a highway a street because you don't have any. What is this? It's like somebody went to the mayor. Mr. Mayor, we need some more highways. And he's like, oh, we don't have enough money for more highways. We have enough for some new signs. <laughs> what say we call Broadway Street the low heat highway? Nobody will notice that there's fucking bus stops <laughs> and cabs picking up people on the highway. What the fuck is that? Oh, look, a red light on the highway. What the fuck? Lying sacks of shit. And they have the nerve to draw it thicker in the map book, too, like it's bigger than the other streets. It's not. It's the same fucking size as the street next to it. And oh, no, look, it's the No Heat Highway. <laughs> People bitch about the lack of highways here too. I tell people I'm from Toronto, like, oh man, you're lucky there, you got highways. We have no highways here. And oh my God, the traffic. And I'm like, well, look, dude, look, there's 10 million people in Toronto. They need a good highway system there. Here, the highway problem isn't so much the, 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 the or the traffic problem isn't so much the highways. It's just that the local downtown drivers just need to learn how to uh, go. <laughs> Fuck sakes, no one's in front of you. Go. It's your fucking turn. <laughs> No, I have to calm down. I should calm down. I should adjust. It's not you guys. I should adjust. I should calm the hell down. It's just me. But come on, man. You know, you know, people just drive around downtown Vancouver just looking for an excuse to come to a stop, right? They just do. They'll be driving. You see somebody driving along the street, and they'll see somebody walking along the street beside them the same direction. They'll be like, I wonder if that guy wants to cross at that crosswalk up there. Let me slow down now, just in case he does. Oh yeah, sure enough, there he goes. Okay, sure. Oh, I'm stopped. Oh, look at the pretty mountains. It's nice. <laughs> it's like, 
But I don't mind. People, it's very nice, right? People try to let pedestrians go. Everyone stops here in Vancouver. They don't do that in Toronto. They just fuck you, pedestrian, right? But here, it's like people stop and try to let pedestrians go, but they do it in the weirdest places, right? Like I'm on Georgia Street the other day, and I wanted to cross, and it's like six lanes of traffic, and it's very busy. It's like zoom, 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 you know? And uh, but, So I'm going to wait for traffic to clear, because I don't want to walk all the way down to the light, you know? So I'm waiting, and I know that eventually there'll be a gap in traffic, and I'll run across. So I'm, I'm standing there waiting for my gap for my chance, but it's very busy. And then this guy sees me like three lanes over. He sees me waiting there, and he stops right in the middle of it all. He just stops, and he's like, hey, go ahead. Hey, go ahead. And I'm just like, zoom, 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 zoom. Six other lanes of traffic haven't caught on your little improv here, pal. You're sending me to the slaughter, you know what I mean? And of course, I feel bad because he stopped for me, so I want to go for him now. And I'm like, okay, I'll try, but uh, I gotta play a game of Frogger here now. I'm like, come on, buddy. Like, Jesus, it's all right. I know you want me to go. It's bloody weird. And people, because pedestrians here have gotten very cocky too, because they know now the cars stop for them. So pedestrians here will just walk right out. They don't give a shit. They don't even look. No crosswalk. No nothing. Just like screw you, gas you, and pig. I'm going in. Fuck off, oil burner. It's my turn. And they don't even look. They just walk right out. And man, I didn't know, the first week I was here, I killed 10 people before I found out, right? I didn't know, like from Toronto, you know? I'm like driving along, I'm like, this guy just walked right out in front of my car. <laughs> Holy shit! He did not even try to move, that was weird. Oh my, another one, look at this guy. <laughs> Holy fuck. It's, it's like they don't know how much a car weighs. Or something. <laughs> Get used to this. 